Hello, and welcome back to the channel. You were expecting me to scare you, weren't you? Because it's about past fear. <sighs> I was gonna put Twilight Zone there, but I don't know if it's copyright or not. Anywho, welcome back to the channel. I am Kron Jennings, and we shall get right into it. Now, I used to be a very fearful person when it comes to fake things, like the silence, though that's not really much of a fear of mine. But I've I've matured a lot. And now I'm only afraid of people. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna name some of my past fears that I've had and still kind of affect me. I'll tell you which ones do affect me still though. Before we get started, there is a Reddit that I am doing um, where I'm asking you questions like what's the weirdest workout story you've ever heard or stuff like that. And you're welcome to answer in the comments section below where there will be a question for you, but it would also be much easier for me to see and find your stories on my Reddit page. But it's okay if you don't have Reddit and don't want to get it, just comment below and I'll find it. And yeah, so thank you very much. So when I was but a lad, I had the mini of fear. I have a bit of a fear problem, if you haven't noticed, but I'm trying to get over it. I'm going to become more courageous. It's a thing I want to do, and it's the way I want to live. I want to be courageous, brave, strong, and I want to be a big girl. Yee. Yeah. When I was in middle school, if I had to guess 7th or 8th grade, there was this guy I didn't really talk to a lot, and I'm not going to say his name, but we're going to call him Bob. He was really into things that I was not into. An example, creepypasta. Uh, serial killers, stuff like that. And he was a really nice guy. He actually protected me from somebody who was flirting with me really strong and being really creepy. So it's not like he's like someone to worry about or anything because he's a really nice guy and I actually hung out with him. And he's just really funny. He's just got like a dark humor sort of thing. But if you got dark humor, he is the funniest guy you'll ever see. I don't particularly have dark humor. That's all. Anyway, he was talking about creepypasta and I was trying to be really polite and listen. I was also kind of interested because I'm like, hmm, can piece creepypasta be something I'm into? It is not. He told me about a wolf that um, if you hear a wolf, ho this wolf howl, this creepypasta howl, that um, you'll hear it randomly throughout your next week or so and to the point where you hear always coming and then you'll become insane or the wolf will come like and get you and eat you or something like that. And a lot of you guys are like, that doesn't, that doesn't sound creepy at all. That's like really cool and stuff like that. And some of you are like, oh, that's a little bit creepy or whatever. Yeah, you see, I was terrified and I thought throughout the day when the night was on, it was all good. And when it became night, I was a little more afraid. But when I lay here upon the bed that I sleep upon, oh, Shakespearean for you. I was mortified, like mortified, terrified, because I thought I heard howling, and I'm like, this is it. This is how I die. He's going to come and eat me and scare me, and I'm going to cry. So I went downstairs and talked to my dad. <laughs> like, nothing's going to come get me. I'm okay. I'm all right. And he's like, you really think that they're going to be scared? Like, gonna, it's fine. They're not going to come get you. I'm going to punch him in the face and stuff like that. And it's stuff I use now to, like, calm my cousin down, who's uh, very scared of uh storms and she's a, like 11 and I'm like you're okay the ninja turtle is going to protect you and that makes her giggle and laugh and stuff like that I did it for my younger sister when she was scared of stuff so it's all good I was just fastly afraid of that but as soon as I had the conversation with my dad about it it just went away so like it's not really much of a past fear but it's like very much a fear gotcha didn't I <laughs> anyway <laughs> anyway, another thing that, I, this is the thing that actually bothers me today, is um, trypophobia and stuff like that. But it only bothers me on my hand, really, and when I, it's like, even touching my hand now, ugh, it just bothers me. Because I saw a picture on Facebook one time of somebody with, like, a bunch of, like, big black oozy holes in their hand and it still bothers me now so that kind of gave me trypophobia so I like I can't look at a wall and be like if, like if you look at the speaker in a car or like this which is my computer monitor thing like this is the monitor this is the I forget what it's called loud noise I forget what it's called it has a bunch of holes in it that doesn't bother me the stuff in the car where it looks like speakers doesn't really bother me that much but does a little so I don't have like extreme trypophobia I have trypophobia for like when it's on people like something's wrong with their skin and that just sort of starts bothering me again like I know there's a youtuber uh, Ethan Dolan who has trypophobia but he has it much worse than I where he can't even look at a strawberry 
and I feel very bad for him. But as the pictures went on in their past, uh, in their uh, face your phobias video, it just got worse and I couldn't watch it. I don't know how people can because it's disgusting and it looks like your body's been hurt, to say the least. Anyway, I'm moving on from that because I don't want to talk about it anymore. A different past fear of mine is like having a plant grow out of my hand. Cause somebody said, oh look, a flower grow out of my hand, what the heck? And I'm like, that's terrifying and it must have hurt a lot. So like now I, occasionally when I think about that, I look at my hands cause apparently I have trypophobia for my hands. Like I guess it's linked to the trypophobia in my hands. I'm like, <laughs> that's not really much of a bother now. Oh, I don't know if the audio just changed or not, but it was then. And by then I mean like three years ago and I'm 19. Growing up, I had chores, and you're like, oh, you're afraid of chores now? No. What it is, is in the kitchen, we have the sink that's faced towards the house, and a little window in the house so I could look at, see the living room, stuff like that. Behind us is a glass door, and stuff like that. I'm always terrified, especially when younger, and sometimes now when I'm older, when my head just, like, wants to mess with me, that somebody's watching me from outside. They're like, Some, somebody's gonna come in, break the door, and come get me, which is unrealistic, but still it happens. Like. You like just close the blinds and I'm realizing now that if I just did I would have been perfectly fine but no I didn't and sometimes I take out the knife and stare at it and be like oh I know big scary girl Ooh, here she goes Ugh. but anyway it was terrifying and I actually have a funny story like that it was about 1 a.m. a couple months ago when it happened when I felt like somebody was watching me and this time it wasn't my brain being like what if somebody was looking at you right now sort of thing it was like suddenly the urge of like somebody is watching me right now I looked behind me I looked at the door I looked at the window that's like next to it stuff like that I was perfectly fine there was no one there there's nothing happening none of that but for some reason I couldn't shake the feeling for like the next hour when I was doing the dishes because there were a lot of dishes because I didn't do what I was supposed to do and I'm just like what the heck what the heck so I go to leave because I'm like done the dishes, I'm ready to go. And as I'm leaving, I look and I see my turtle glaring at me. And as soon as I see her, the feeling goes away that somebody's watching me. And I'm like, Tara, what are you doing here? Why are you doing, what are you doing? Why are you watching me? That's so rude. You scared the crap out of me. And she's just like, I can understand her. And she was not happy that I was doing the dishes so late because she was trying to sleep. Which is fair. I get that. That's fair, girl. I get it. I get it, girl. But it's still kind of rude. You shouldn't scare someone because you're upset that they're keeping you up. Me. My last biggest fear ever that bothered me for five, six years and just scared me so much. Oh, wait. There's another one. Never mind. <laughs> I picked up the last one before I was even ready for it. There's another fear that I had that really, really bothered me for like a couple days. And it might be linked to like the fear of the dark I had. And it was the Varash Nevada, which is a Doctor Who monster. And what it is, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about or know Doctor Who, but don't understand who I'm, what monster I'm referring to because I may have botched the name, is the uh, shadow killer, shadow things. And what it is, is this little tiny parasites that are, um, don't like the light, right? And what they are is they can't get in the light, but they move like a shadow. And if you touch them or like go in the shadows, then they eat you. That's not terrifying at all, is it? My last big fear that I had for years, for five, six years, that was terrifying and sometimes still terrifies me a little now, is weeping angels. And for those of you who don't know, weeping angels work like this. When you're looking at them, they're just like this, right? But whenever you look away, they move closer and closer and closer to you. And as soon as they touch you, and they send you back a couple years and they waste your life away and stuff like that until that moment that you die in that day is the same day that they touched you and i know it doesn't seem that creepy but to me it's like if they touch you they kill you can you imagine like a killer that every time you blink moves faster than you can see it like every time you blink it's like 20 feet closer to you and if it touches you it kills you that's if that's not terrifying to you then i don't know what is anyway why don't you guys tell me some of your past fears in the comment section below and that will be reddit's next thing well the next reddit thing i do well not the next video but like a reddit thing i'm going to do 
and you guys can see that in the future episodes. It's also going to be on Reddit, so please follow me there. You can find me on all social medias in the description below and see what I'm up to. Thank you very much for watching. Why don't you like, comment, and all that fun jazz, and thank you very much for watching. So why don't you join the ride, share the video, and subscribe. Bye-bye.